Well, hi there. Welcome to another Tri-City Scuba Center video. Uh, today we're going to talk about the courses that will make me a better diver. We get people coming in all the time. What do I do? They've got their open water certification and they're wondering how they're going to become a better diver and, and what's the path. Because there's a myriad of courses available, not all of them are applicable to what we're doing here in Southern Ontario and some of them are. Uh, so we've come up with what we call a logic path on, on education. So once you have your open water certification to be a, a proper and true Canadian diver, um, dry suit certification is something that we're after. Uh, what that does is it opens your dive season theoretically to 12 months of the year. Yes, we actually will go and cut holes in the ice and go underneath it in February. Um, some people think we're crazy. I might agree with them on that, but it's fun. Uh, but aside from that, a dry suit is great if you want to dive between the Continental Divide and Silfra. If you want to go and see the, uh, the sea lions in British Columbia, or the kelp forests off the coast of, uh, of California, or some of the shipwrecks from World War II along the eastern seaboard. Uh, once you've taken your dry suit course, now what you can do is take peak performance buoyancy. The reason we suggest peak performance buoyancy after the dry suit course is you're going to refine the skills you learned in the open water course, which are the very basics in buoyancy, Plus, you're adding the complexity of the dry suit. You're now managing two air, well, three air spaces, technically, including your body. You've now got three air spaces instead of the two that you worked with in open water. Now's the time for peak performance points. You can dial in how well you can manage your, um, your attitude in the water. Once you've done that, we always recommend the Advanced Open Water Diver course. It's going to, again, build on those skills that you've learned in those three previous courses, and it extends your depth to 100 feet which is the most common when you go diving down south. You'll find that most of the places that you're diving will restrict you to about 100 feet because your air just goes through uh, way too fast and there really isn't a whole lot to see uh, once you get past 100 feet anyway when you're down south. Following that, enriched air diver. And we drop things out of the manual, which is something we do here at Tri-City. Um, the Enriched Air Diver course now adds uh, the ability to add higher percentages of oxygen into the blends of gas that you're breathing, which will proportionately reduce the amount of nitrogen that your body is absorbing. Uh, and that sort of is the gateway to doing deeper types of diving, which is the next specialty, the deep diver specialty. This now will take you beyond uh, the 100 foot depth to the maximum recreational depth of 130 feet. Why would we want to do that? Well, there's a lot of exploration, especially in southern Ontario, where you can dive some of the best shipwrecks in the world. Uh, Lake Ontario, Tobermory, Lake Michigan, Superior. There are, I think, 10,000 shipwrecks. I looked up, we have a map on the wall that you can't see right now. There are 10,000 shipwrecks in the Great Lakes. They know maybe two or 3,000 of them, and there are a lot of really great wrecks. Some of these are two, 250 years old. These beautiful wooden ships are preserved in cold, deep water. That's where the dry suit comes in handy because it's cold, and that's where the deep diver specialty gets in because now you can get down and you can poke around and see some of those things. And speaking of that, we love shipwrecks here. There are shipwrecks all around the world and those are some of the features of many, many of the great dive sites. You'll learn the techniques and skills uh, required to uh, explore those recreational uh, shipwrecks and maybe what will happen is you'll want to go and discover one yourself uh, and maybe you'll find a new, a new to you wreck or a brand new shipwreck. This will give you some of the skills that are required to, to do that safely and enjoyably. Uh, once you get through that, a lot of people have developed the skills where they're comfortable in the water, uh, they're now comfortable with the people around them. The Rescue Diver course will continue to build on your skills and really refine them. So now you'll be focusing on the people that you're diving with. One of the common sayings that we have is that any problems that appear underwater can be solved underwater. Excuse me, can be solved underwater. I think I need more coffee. <laughs> it's one of those days. Um, but the Rescue Diver course now allows you to help other divers and you can uh, proactively stop any potential issues that occur on the surface quite often. So that's our logic path. Uh, from there, um, now you're set up to get your Master Scuba Diver designation or if you decide to go professional, you can become a Paddy Dive Master. That's it. Thanks for watching. Yeah.